Alright, this is devlog 5 for Reaper of the Undead. Quite a bit has changed since the last video. The first thing I want to talk about is the open world mechanic. It was creating way too much complexity and it didn't really turn out as planned. So instead of open world, I've made it level based. The levels are still procedurally generated, but they're a lot more manageable in terms of gameplay. Killing all the zombies will progress you to the next level, where every level gets more and more difficult. This makes a lot more sense in terms of the backstory, because you're trying to get rid of the zombies, you don't want to be leaving any behind. I've started to add sound effects. I've currently got sounds for gunshots, reloading, and when you take damage. I still want to play around with zombie groans and maybe footstep sounds. Another major change is the weapon system. Previously I had random weapon generation, but that didn't really lend itself to progression. So I've gone with a more linear approach to the weapon system. I don't have it implemented yet, but you'll start out with a really basic weapon, then unlock weapon upgrades as you progress. The last thing I want to talk about is the character sprite. I was messing around with vector graphics and wanted to see what the main character would look like. I added it in the game and it looks really good, but it looks completely out of place. I think if I updated the rest of the art it would look a lot better. But let me know what you think. Do you prefer the pixel art style or do you like the vector art? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.